So we're on video 170 something, I don't even know, but somewhere in there. We've worked on our engine, built our lat math library, we did timing with some profiling here. I think eventually we should pull this, this debug stuff out into its own project. We've done a lot of unit testing, that's felt good, hopefully you learned from that. And then on the side we've actually built a, a small game, I don't know if I'd really call it a game, it's more like a toy right now. A game to me has objectives and goals and challenges and that sort of thing. And there's no challenge here. I'm just flying around. No big deal. It's not really a game. We'll, we'll get there. We'll build a game. But uh, for now, <laughs> I want to talk about this My GL window. Everything I've wanted to do to make stuff happen in, in what is our game, as much as we can call this a game. Everything I've, I've done is inside of this mygl-window.cpp file. The mygl-window.cpp, just, 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 as programmers we like to draw boxes, don't we, to represent our architecture. In fact, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scroll this down just a little bit and draw a box right here in the upper right. And we'll say this is mygl-window my GL window. And why do we even call it GL? Well, because we're doing rendering, right? We're painting, we're using some OpenGL, we've seen a little bit of that. So the My GL window, it handles rendering. Well, in the meantime, it also handles the update loop. So, update loop. Okay, the loop runs, I think, 30, 60 times a second or something like that. So, handles the rendering, it handles the update loop. What else? Oops. What else does it handle? It handles the lerper. Okay, the lerping logic is in here as well. Lerp, lerping logic. I'll just put lerper. How about lerper? Okay, and then uh, let's see. There's, there's the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The input. It handles the input. Handles the keyboard input. And it also handles the physics. Remember, we reflect off the wall. We can bounce off the wall with our ship. Try to remember if there's anything else in here. Uh, profiling, there's the input, there's some physics, uh, probably, that's probably about it. It handles a lot of stuff here, and, and so what, what, basically we've kind of built this hodgepodge, or a nice technical term you'll hear a lot is, uh, monolithic. We've built a monolithic class here. It does everything, and if you're trying to whip up a game real fast, and it's not going to be a game that needs to be maintained over months and months and that sort of thing, and you're trying to do something quick and dirty, then this might be the design pattern you want to follow is, heck, throw it all in, just make it good work. But I'm actually not trying to just build a quick game, I'm trying to build an educational project and something with that, that we you can learn from and something we can build the last and it's going to get much more complex than it currently is. And so this monolithic, throw it all into one class, this thing smells really bad the code smells there's a uh, there's a technical term for you code smells so instead of doing this monolithic class I don't know I just do another monolithic class instead of doing one monolithic class what I'd like to do is take these up take these out and break them into individual parts so there's uh in fact instead of having my GL window do everything I'm gonna I'm gonna say let's make my game and my game will know about everything but it won't do everything okay it's kind of the commander in control Kind of thing, and then uh, we're going to have rendering, rendering just like we do up here. We're going to have our update loop. I think my game will handle an update loop. Get that out of the way. Uh, update loop. I think we'll probably end up putting the update loop inside of my game, but but still, the up, update loop should kind of be its own separate piece as much as possible. And by piece, I don't mean class. I just mean chunk of code, something segregated. Something not that not that I'm racist or anything, but you get the idea. We we like to separate concerns, right? separation of concerns. Something you've probably heard before. Uh, we want the lerper to kind of be its own thing. We could make that a class or something else. I'll show you a little later. We want input to be handled by its own individual system. And I'm actually drawing these. Well, there's a reason why I'm typing these out separately. Let me let me separate these a little bit more. Lerper. Input. Let's see, we got Lerper, Update Loop. Oh, Physics. Let's put Physics over here. Physics. And I'll just draw boxes around these. So they're the, these, hopefully, are their individual systems. What a system is. It could be one class. It could be several classes. It could be a single function or maybe a few functions. Right now, we kind of have 
functions grouped together in my GL window, and it's all kind of blah. Uh, rendering, that should be its own system. And the update loop, I think that's actually going to kind of be part of my game. So we'll do that. But but then uh, what I want to do is break our GL window, this, this monolithic thing, into separate individual systems. And then if I can design these systems clean enough and carefully enough, then hopefully making changes or adding or removing features uh, should should be simple. I, I almost said a piece of cake, but I found that no matter how well I do things, it's never a piece of cake. But that's the idea. We'll make these individual systems, and you can connect them. You know, have my game kind of be the commander in chief and that sort of thing. And and we'll see that here. That's 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 the goal here. It's going to take several videos. In fact, one of the reasons I haven't been working on this, or it looks like I haven't been working on this game engine programming playlist, is I actually read I, I redid everything in here. I wanted to see exactly where I was headed with it, and I ended up hitting a very sweet spot or a good spot. And there's some design patterns, especially game design patterns that we're going to see will pop up on our way to doing that. But I'm just trying to give you an idea that this is where we're at right now. Not ideal if we're going to keep adding to this. It's getting kind of ugly. I think I showed you in the paint GL with the lurper. What was it in the draw? I guess we'll, we'll go to the draw. See, that's another thing that smells bad. I got paint GL doing the update in the draw. And we saw a video why we had to kludge that together, but I don't like it. And then I don't like this do GL and then, hey, do GL again. And, oh, by the way, I'm going to... I'm going to do some matrix transforms out here. Well, I'm going to change my clear. I'm going to bring my clear out here. It's just kind of, there's no separation of concerns. It's not clear what functions are supposed to do what. We don't have any systems. So that's the goal here is to break it out into systems. And we're going to do that in the starting next video. It's going to take a little while, but we'll get there and you'll learn a lot.